before we start with all the random information about CSGO, I have a pretty random second YouTube channel which right now has around 74k subs. Let's see how quickly we can get it to 100k and here is a cute cat picture in return to everyone who is taking their time to support me by subscribing. Now 3, 2, 1 and let's start the clock. In the CSGO icon, a CT can be seen holding a scar L, a weapon that actually isn't even in the game, which raises so many questions. We all might have done things in the past which we're not happy about. For example, one of the best players in the world, Simple, has been cheating and scamming other people for knives. It happened years ago and Simple later on returned all the scammed items to their original owners. That's what you call a happy ending. If a bomb is planted in the very inner corner of the A-bomb site on Inferno and you're low enough, it can take you down even when you're close to banana car area, watch out. Chickens will always spawn on Valve's deathmatch servers regardless of a map and the player gets one point bonus per every chicken kill. Even though the reward isn't huge and most of the people even don't know about that bonus, it can still in the end be a game changer to tip the scale of regular deathmatch games. Astralis is the first team to feature all players of a roster in the same edition of Agile TV's top 20 players of the year, doing so in 2018 with Device, Dupree, Sipnix, Clave and Magis. A fun fact, in Danger Zone there has been cases where people derank for unknown reason even though they won the game. In April 2020, on average, there were 857,604.2 players constantly playing CSGO and I can remember the 0.2 player playing in my team. The longest skin name in the game is currently Modo Gloves, third commando company in minimal wear condition. A fellow CSGO YouTuber's Warhol's logo holds a little easter egg on the helmet, simply the best and that's not because he feels like a Conor McGregor of CSGO's YouTube scene, but it comes from many many years back in time when this phrase was just trendy. This is how long it takes to walk the whole A-long stretch on Dust 2. At Train's Pop Dog, you can lose up to 22 HP solo while jumping plus dropping down here. I know I have presented it already in one of my previous videos, but since it got so popular on Reddit, you need to know that at Inferno CT spawn, there are three doorbells, but only two mailboxes, that's literally unplayable. There are exactly 28 stair steps in this long stairway on train. Go multiply all the bomb code numbers and since there's zero in it, the answer is zero. Quick math. If you would aim just a tiny bit right side of opponent's head, you can actually one-shot their targets from a marathon distance using the almighty Nova shotgun. A couple of years ago, CSGO Pro Dozia opened his first auto service business in Moscow. Counter-Strike Global Offensive's trailer is 3 minutes and 54 seconds long and has currently around 19 million views on YouTube. Team Liquid is the first North American team to reach CSGO Majors Grand Final. It happened at the ESL1 Cologne 2016. There are two very similar office setups on train, except the one in heaven uses a wired keyboard while the other has a wireless version. I always knew that people near B are living the fancier life. The Arm Steel 3 collection is the only skin collection consisting entirely of pistol skins, 12 in total, plus 4 of them are skins for CZs. Hotel Aurora, which is located nearby a bombsite on Dust 2, is a 4 star hotel, at least that's what we can read on the banner. At 4 years, 5 months and 1 day, Taz, Neo, Pasha Biceps, Snacks and Bialy is the longest lasting lineup in the history of CSGO. They played their first game on September 5th, 2013 under ESC's gaming tag and continued to stay together until February 6th, 2018 when Taz got benched from Virtus Pro to make way for me. Who. Your favorite CSGO YouTuber has currently a bit more than 1.13 million subs, but depending on when you watch this video, this number should have increased. Do what you have to do yourself as well with the bells on, of course. In Global Offensive Beta, the defusal kit was randomly given to two counter terrorists. What a robbery that nowadays everyone has to buy it or pick it up from someone else's body. The map Cobblestone was originally named D underscore C B B L E instead of the Cobble in honor of the old 8 character restriction. The AG grenade in Counter Strike Source is a M26 slash M61 grenade, which is a fragmentation grenade rather than an AG grenade. 
in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the AG grenade is modeled after the M67 grenade, which is also a fragmentation grenade. The difference is that Frag, aka fragmentation grenade, has a weaker explosion that should sharpen out over a larger radius, and AG, aka high explosive grenade, has a more concentrated explosion that deals higher explosive damage in a smaller radius. The sign on Overpass says Schwerneck, but Overpass is actually located in Berlin. In 2018, due to a law in China, CSGO was forced into making the exact case opening odds public and they looked like that, around 80% of the chance to get the worst blue item and around 0.26% of a chance to get the rarest yellow item, it might just a bit change your enthusiasm towards your next case opening. There are 40 small squares on this store at B Bombsite on Dust 2. As you might know from some of my previous videos, lots of celebrities have played CS, Neymar, Casemiro, etc. But my latest finding is a former superstar on the skis, the almighty Finnish king Better Nartuk. In deathmatch mode, every 3 kill streak gives one medishot to a player and only one can be carried at once, so if you're a killing machine, feel free to use them every now and then. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is the only Counter-Strike game to be rated 18 plus by PEGI and if you didn't know then PEGI stands for Pan-European Game Information. The text 44952 Washington Avenue on the smoke grenade is misspelled as 44952 Washington AVE. The most important letter of the whole alphabet, G, is missing. I just opened up CSGO and in the left bottom corner I have an icon that can close it again. Train T spawn, up here on the building you can see a mosaic of Vladimir Lenin who was a very famous Russian revolutionary, politician and political theorist. He served as the first and founding head of government of Soviet Russia from 1917 to 1924 and of the Soviet Union from 1922 to 1924. Under his administration, Russia and later the Soviet Union became a one-party socialist state governed by the Soviet Communist Party. CSGO's community often blamed the developers of the lack of the communication. Recently, they released a video statement on YouTube where they say their communication strategy is to communicate with the public through the updates to the game. The way we do that on CSGO is mostly through game updates. When I might not be a fan of this type of strategy, I'm glad that Valve finally said something like that out loud and if you analyze it all, some of it makes complete sense since for example overpromising is never a good thing. Surprise surprise, Nuke was the most played map in the pro scene in 2020, it had the most activity on it with over 300 games played on it. It's interesting because in previous years Nuke was nowhere near being the most popular map among the top tier teams. If you throw your flashbang inside the bucket, no one gets blind, somehow buckets in the game will nicely absorb all the bangs. A guy who most likely avoids all the buckets is Nexa, because according to HLTV statistics, he has the all-time best flashbang stats among the top 20 teams and he proudly holds his top 1 spot with 0.78 of a success rate. You can have a maximum of 1000 CSGO items in-game, any user who wants to hold more than 1000 items in their CSGO inventory will need a storage unit. These things came into CSGO on 23rd of November 2019, they cost around $2 and they are very helpful even if you haven't reached the 1000 item inventory limit because storage units can be labeled plus used as a way to more effectively organize your CSGO inventory, go beauty it up. It takes a bit more than 10 seconds to completely empty one full magazine with negative 10 plus seconds of pure edge gear into your use. The Operation Broken Fang officially ended on May 3rd, 2021, what a nice ride it was. By the way, May 3rd is also a birthday for a designer who made a name for himself with a song titled Panda where he said I got lost in Atlanta, although he had actually never been to Atlanta himself. It's a pity because Atlanta has been home for some top-notch CSGO events, including an E-League major in 2017. Map Ancient is the newest map in the current competition map pool Active Duty Group. It's a bomb defusal map created by Valve's corporation and because of its similarity to the map The Aztec and because the textures plus props in the source code were named after The Aztec, it can be assumed that Ancient is a kind of unofficial remake of Aztec. When taking the silencer off from the USP, it's simply the sound of being attached reversed. The same applies for the M4.
standing close to candles on ancient do not hurt you at all. A quick throwback to city spawn on cash where standing inside the fire barrel would slowly eat your HP one by one. To be fair the fire here is tiny bit bigger too, although it only hurts you when you are standing on the very top of it. If you get on the barrel edge you won't lose any HP, surely something to consider if you like to surprise your opponents from hippie off angles. Now a question to you, which map has more regular cars on it? Does 2 or Overpass? You have 3 seconds to guess, 3, 2, 1, I'm pretty sure most of you guessed Dust 2 and that's not right as there are 5 cars on both of the maps, so it's a solid tie, just an Overpass, most of the cars are outside of the playable zone, but they are still there. The first ever operation in the game was Operation Payback. It was released on 25th of April 2013 and the operation raised over $150,000 for the map makers as all the money made from selling the operation passes, $5.99 per pass, went directly towards the map creators, not Valve, awesome stuff. The dual Peretas in CSGO have a very high accuracy when moving, higher than any of the SMGs. Because of this, it's smart to strafe a lot while using them to make yourself a harder target to hit. AK-47's official in-game description is powerful and reliable. The AK-47 is one of the most popular assault rifles in the world. It's most deadly in short, controlled bursts of fire. If you get into this top middle corner on Dust 2, aim like shown, a bit down from the lamp support construction and shoot with your deagle, nothing happens because you can't wallbang here, a real cherry to end the video with.